Today I'm going to show you how to attach a neckband onto a garment for knit fabric. So this has already been pinned, quartered, and then pinned again in between each of the quartered pins. And I have the band on bottom so that I can stretch that and make sure that the top fabric does not get stretched out further than just flat against the neckband. I've got it started here at the very back of the neck so that you'll come around to that same spot. And you wanna make sure that all the edges align so you have one, two, three layers of fabric. I've already set my tension and my differential on the serger is just a little bit, of, bit above one since the fabric is stretchy. For this particular garment, it has a half inch seam allowance, so I'm going to bring it over to my half inch mark. You'll start by not stretching, and then as you go, after it's got a couple stitches in there, we'll stretch the fabric out just a little bit because the neck band is shorter than the neck hull. So here we go. As you're going, you can stop and kind of pull that over to make sure that all three layers of fabric are aligning. And just remove the clips as you go. Make sure that this fabric doesn't get pulled out this way. Always push it away from it or you get a big hole. Ask me how I know. Lay it flat and then stretch it so that all three layers of fabric are lined together. And take this as slow as you want. The first couple neck bands you do, you definitely want to go slow. And again, don't stretch it further. When you see that rolling back, you know you've stretched it too far on the top layer of fabric. The neck band needs to be stretched out a little bit, but the garment itself you want that to just be smooth. So you've got it wrinkly here, just, just so it's just barely taut. And go all the way around, lining up the fabric and removing your clips, making sure that you have the seam allowance. If you have cheaper fabric like I'm using here on top, it's going to roll more. You just have to pop it out and make sure that it's flat against the neck band. And you can see that I'm kind of using my hand here. I'm stretching with my right hand and with my left hand, I'm making sure that that's feeding into the serger flat. I'm going slow, but as you get better at this, you can go faster. And if you're using a more structured fabric like cotton spandex or pont, then this is gonna lie flatter and you won't have to fuss with it quite as much. We're almost back around to the beginning. And when you get to the beginning, you'll surge over it at that half inch seam allowance and then you'll slowly grade it out and just come right off the fabric. You'll see. Make sure it's pulled taut that you don't have a bunch of fabric bunching up right here. Come out with the tail just a little bit, but because we have gone past the point where we started, the serger threads on this side are not gonna come loose. So you can trim it right up against that. And then your neck band is done. And you'll see that when you lay it out flat, you've got the seam here at the back. And this is where you went back over it, right there at the very back, so you'll know which way to go. And if you kept the same seam allowance all the way around, it should look pretty smooth and nice. And there's your neckband.